she's made up her mind that she would rather pursue this lifestyle than live a monogamous life with me. Welcome to the Hallet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, wife, 27 female, wants to be poly, I, 27 male, want to be monogamous. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge and many people's very poor life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. More and more men are finding themselves in this particular position. If not often blindsided by it, when their wife or longtime girlfriend announces one day they want an open or polyamorous relationship. Often this doesn't just happen in a vacuum. Either they get the idea from TikTok, the media, or one of their friends. Which is why I say, pay attention who her friends are. If she runs around with a coven of single and divorced women, you will eventually have an issue. Never forget, for the most part, human beings are the average of five people they hang out the most with. If her girlies are either carousel riders or cheaters, then at her core, she will be influenced by that. This is before they deliberately set out to sabotage your relationship, especially if they don't have one. Remember guys, women have frenemies. That's not something guys generally do. Don't be naive. Women do this kind of thing out of jealousy and the saying, misery loves company is very true. Here is an unfortunate brother who is lost and doesn't have a clue on what to do, so he's asking. Take a moment to share your thoughts in the comment section below, or if you have a story, share it. My wife, female, age 27, and I, 27 male, have been together for eight years. Recently, she's decided she wants to be polyamorous as something she needs in her life to be happy. She's made up her mind that she'd rather pursue this lifestyle than live monogamously with me. We still love each other and don't want to lose each other. Slap to the back of the head. Let's get one thing straight right now. She does not love you. You are a convenience to her until she uses this to find a better deal that's more viable. No woman who loves her man and has a burning desire for him would do this. By the way, did we all note the ultimatum she dropped on him? This says to me, she sees you as weak and she would not do this unless she is absolutely sure you would give in and submit like a good little beta. I don't know what I want, whether to accept polygamy or be single. There, right there. Oh, by the way, slap to the back of the head. As a rule, children don't know what they want. Women most often don't know what they want by the hour. To a decisive masculine man, the choice is clear. There can only be one response to this. I don't see how I'll ever love another person, whether I'm poly with her or single. Slap to the back of the head. 
Oh, please, stop it. I know you're hurting because this bovine E. coli stinks, and you need to suck it up. Stop acting like you have a mangina. No one thinks you're going to be all right in the near future, but this soulmate concept is crap sold by Disney and the Hallmark Channel for women. You're 27 years old. You're not even at your peak yet. We are at a fork in the road, and I don't want to choose any of the paths ahead. Slap to the back of the head. You know, sometimes with these guys, you got to slap upside the back of the head because, you know, we can be a little dense and we need a little to kind of set us right or a little reboot there. This right there, what you just said, tells me everything I need to know about you. Your woman just told you she's going to smash with other dudes, whether you like it or not. And your response is, I don't want to choose any of the paths ahead. Can anyone else see what I see and get what I'm saying? If you do, put it in the comment section below. My question is, has anyone been in a similar situation? Dude, I have a whole channel of videos about that situation. What was your choice? Why did you choose that path? Do you regret it? Right, okay, here are my thoughts. One, your marriage is over. Wrap your head around that, PDQ. Time to put on your big boy pants, riding chaps, and cowboy up. There is no saving this. There is no let's go to counseling. A masculine man would understand Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. Two. Time to see a divorce. Oh, wait. Oops. I mean, family law attorney and find out your battlefield options. If this was me, I would record the next conversation and say, so we're clear. Tell me again why you want to change our relationship. And I would ask her, why weren't you honest with me about your needs or intentions eight years ago? Grasp this concept. When they do this, they are either already cheating, have crossed an emotional line and have an emotional investment in someone, or they have someone in mind and think by telling you this isn't cheating. The point is, get her to run her mouth and end it with a clear, I do not consent to this. Then do what your lawyer tells you. Yes, you may take a financial gut punch. However, you're young. You'll recover and come back from this. When you do serve her, that's when you send the recording to her parents your parents and your close friends. Let me tell you why you're going to do this. You must control the narrative because she will lie and make you out to be the bad guy. If she is having an affair with someone she works with, tell your lawyer and let their investigators handle it. You might have a lawsuit there. Three. Find a male therapist and find out what was it in you that you were attracted to someone like her. Clearly, she knows you are more into the relationship than she is, which gives her all the power. What is it in you that you gave her all the power in the first place? Then, what steps do you need to take to heal and form more effective belief systems because the ones you have just failed. Four, get your ass to the gym, work out, take up a martial arts or hang out in a boxing gym. The point here 
is you are going to remake your mind, body, and soul into a version or a better version of yourself for you. This way, next time, you may not repeat the same mistakes and you will lead your next relationship as a man supposed to and not be led around as her little puppy dog. Even if she suddenly changes her mind, your relationship won't be the same. So it's over. Time to plan your exit on your terms. Oh, by the way, that means no mercy. Chances are when she is served and sees you are no longer kidding around, she may try to salvage the relationship. There may be a lot of begging and pleading and saying, how could you throw away our eight years of relationship and not taking any accountability to the fact that she already threw it away. Regardless, no, do not take her back ever, never reconcile. If you do, then you've just proven how weak you are and you deserve what she does to you down the road. And trust me, she will do crap to you down the road. Women cannot love a weak man. Think of it as an evolutionary switch that's wired into them. If you are one of the unsubscribed viewers, 95%, who watch me and have found value in this channel, it's time to show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, Drop me a comment below on what you think, then subscribe to my Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab for future politically incorrect comment. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for a new video, and you are watching on YouTube, then click on one of these right now and enjoy another. Until next time.